Mental Fox here. Welcome back to Fallout 76. Boy, that was weird there. <laughs> that real foggy view we just had for a moment. Uh, we're going to go back in here and uh, register with the Fire Breathers computer system because I had to abruptly end the last episode. So we'll just cruise back in here in our power armor. What in the world? Look at this thing. Okay, that was weird. We saw one of those earlier, but I didn't see him up close. Minor suit scrap. Okay. Man, that is horrifying. Uh, we're going to go in here and uh, register in the computer system, and then there's going to be some stuff we could read. Um, so we're going to do that stuff here real quick. Uh, I don't think I want to go that way. I think I want to go up these stairs here. And there were like some things that we wanted to read as well, so we'll read those in this episode. Um, is it this radio that's playing? Shut up. Okay, uh, so here is the master terminal that we are going to use. We are going to register ourselves as a new fire breather. Um, all this stuff happened. And then we have a message archive that we didn't look at. So let's take a look at these messages. Here's one called Muster Point the Rusty Pick. Map updated the Rusty Pick. Attention all active fire breathers, muster point the rusty pick. All right, ladies and gents, word has come down from on high. We've got exactly no more time to wait for Madigan to show, so we're going to have to do this without him. We move on Big Ben tomorrow. Muster point is the, our muster point is the rusty pick. You're to be in gear and ready to move by 0700. Sleep well tonight because tomorrow we're saving Appalachia Melody. Okay, range temporarily closed. Heads up, gang. Firing range is closed until further notice while the explosives for the tunnel job are on site. I'll send out a message once it's cleared for us again. Until then, you're going to have to find a healthier way to express your anger. Melody. Hmm. Tunnel job. What's up with that? Stopping the scorched. Meeting at 1800 today in the exam room. No exceptions. We've got a plan to deal with the scorched. You want to save Appalachia, make sure your cheeks are in a seat by 6 p.m. Excavator armor. Another map update. Check in for Madigan's latest field trip yielded a tip on some new gear. Rumor is that Garahan's mining's or Garahan mining's excavator armor, while maybe not the mining method of the future, was actually a seriously rugged hunk of machinery. Smoke, fire, gas resistance. And apparently, the Garahans kept all the tech to make them in their very own basement. Any fire breathers that find themselves in the vicinity of Bramwell should pop into the old Garahan HQ, see if they could find any old suits lying around. Melody. And I think that's the quest we've got um, uh, that uh, we have to be level 25 to do. Scouts for AMS HQ. We've got a good lead on some tech that should make blowing holes in the Scorched easier, and we're looking for volunteers to go collect. The crew will be cutting a route across the mountains to get there, since Big Ben's still in the hands of the freaks, then heading into the heart of Watoga, which has apparently gone haywire without proper adult supervision. For this reason, any volunteers will be outfitted with only the finest in firepower. All interested, please speak to Lieutenant Madigan. And finally, Big Bend off limits. As many of you've heard by now, we have traced the influx of Scorched to a single source, Big Bend Tunnel. Initial reports suggest the parties we've run across so far are only the beginning. Now, we're not going to sit on our thumbs while these things make their way into the heap, but we're not about to waste lives by rushing in without a plan. So until further notice, all patrols and scouting parties should steer clear of Big Bend Tunnel and the surrounding area, and no one leaves the station without a firearm. Okay, so Big Bend is that tunnel we heard mention of, I guess. We've got a schematic archive, uh, anti-scorched mod standard issue, and then we got this stuff here. And then this stuff, support, user access denied, contact Sergeant Alamein for access current duty Big Bend tunnel. Well, unfortunately that didn't give me a quest, so I'm not going to remember that. Mods for a shotgun, Kaminsky also in Big Bend tunnel. Mods for rifles, also in Big Bend Tunnel. So, at some point we're going to have to go to Big Bend Tunnel to get access to those schematics, I imagine. 
Uh, well, there's a priority message we're supposed to listen to. Let's take a look at this quest here. It sounds like there's an outstanding message from Hank Madigan, the Firebreather's lieutenant. I should head into the dispatch room and or to give it a listen. Okay, so it's going to be in the dispatch room, which is kind of right over there. So let's go listen to this. Uh, in here. Oh, now we get to press this button. Remember, we were pressing this button before and nothing was happening. Uh, hey, Vendor. Good luck with Vendor your bot. training, uh -huh. applicant. We'll make a fire breather out of you yet. Okay. To trade with this guy. Uh, what junk do you sell, dude? Do you sell screws? No. Boy, screws are... They are tough to find. Screws are, yes they are. You can gear up here. Now, speaking of screws, and I'm, I imagine that some of you probably have told me this in the comments, but um, uh, once again, I'm like recording this in the future, in the past? I don't know. I'm recording this now and it won't be posted for a while, so uh, you may have already told me how to find screws since I've been talking about them so much, but one thing that I remembered is that I think you can mark stuff. Uh, so if I go into junk and I go to loose screws, I should be able to mark it. Um, tag for search. Screw, tag for search. Okay, so now screws are tagged for search, right? So now when I like look at things, Oh, I'm in power armor. I can't, uh, I can't turn on the light. You need supplies. I am programmed to trade. Now if I, there we go. See, heaven. if I look at this fan, it has a little, um, magnifying glass next to it. And that tells me that screws are in it. So there you go. I figured that out. Uh, let's talk to Mac though. Let's see. Um, well, I don't want to, I really don't want to trade with him. He doesn't have screws. Set up this. Trading post for there. I think there's some um, benches downstairs that I could use to scrap that thing that I just picked up and turn it into screws. Let's listen to this message. There are 800,000 <laughs> outstanding support calls. There is one priority call. Accessing. Maria, Melody, whoever's down there, it's Madigan checking in. <laughs> At long last. I'm up here just outside the top of the world and I found something, something I think could be game changing. Don't ask me where I got it. I just need you to send backup up here quick. The best guns you can spare. Call me back at this frequency as soon as you can. Vatican out. Okay, well that completes uh, Into the Fire quest. Alright. Now what? Oh, we get some stim packs and a heavy metal chest piece. We could do some head banging. Quest started the missing link and we level up. Discover what happened to Madigan and continue his vital mission to fight the Scorched. Okay. Now, let's look at our quests here. The missing link. I need to find out what happened to Madigan as his mission was critical to dealing with the Scorched. I should check out his last known location, the top of the world. Let's get that on the map. Top of the world is this thing over here. And we are currently way down here. So it is a long trek up here to this place. Well, probably not as long as I think, but because uh, we're going to Riverside Manor. But you can see there's other structures here on the map. This is huge looking, whatever that is. It's, uh, and there's a road that does go up this way and also a train up to Pleasant Valley so at some point we'll make our way up there uh, in the meantime well uh, if we look at our other quests, these side quests we still have this Minor Miracles one this is the one that we need to, to be level 25 to do personal matters well this is just us finding things Related to the Overseer, I guess, yeah, the next one is in Welch, and if we show this one on the map... Oh, I have to turn this on. Turn, show this one on the map. It's down here. And we are currently up here. I mean, we could make our way down here uh, to get the next journal, 
And we might just go ahead and do that. Still over encumbered though, which is really annoying. Uh, what other uh, quests do we have? Well, we have this, uh, just the Overseer's Journey mission. This uh, Initiate of Mysteries one that uh, seemed a little to be a little bit broken when we were there. And then we have a miscellaneous quest to just simply explore Hornwright Industrial HQ, um, which is here on the map. It's actually really close to us. So that's another thing that we could do at some point. But what are we going to do? Let me turn this off. Um, and I'm going to turn off the main quest because it'll be a while before we head up there. Um, sheesh, what level are we now? We are now level 22, I think. And unfortunately, this is a time when I don't get to pick new cards. This is when we just look at the cards we've currently got. I mean, where did this card come from? I don't, I don't remember picking Bandolier. You know, where did these... Where do these cards come from? I didn't pick this stuff, right? Uh, why would I have chosen Bandolier? Ballistic weapon ammo weighs 45% less. Well, that does sound like something I would pick, maybe. Um, then we got Perception here. Fortune Finder. You hear direction, directional audio when in range of a cap stash. You hear directional audio when in range of a bobblehead. Shotguns. Um, yeah, so intelligence is probably where the, the gun stuff are. If I got this one, I could, oh, I have one. I can craft advanced armor mods, apparently, and expert hacker, gain plus one hacking still, skill, is it still? I mean, where did this come from? I didn't pick this. Where are these coming from? Here I could craft energy guns, but I haven't found a whole lot of energy around here. So, here I can get more components when I scrap weapons and armor. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I mean, maybe it'll give me more screws. I don't know. Then we have agility here. Uh, action points. Well, I've already maxed out on that. Um. Yeah. Home defense. You could craft and disarm better traps and craft better turrets. Don't know if I care about that. Yeah, I have a lot of these cards, but I don't seem to have any that I'm really that interested in, to tell you the truth. And then luck over here. Can do. Yeah, find canned goods. Bottle caps. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Don't feel like looking I through that stuff. More people coming to Charleston. This city seem a lot. <laughs> this city z. Um. Well, we're talking about heading down here to Welch. Um. But first, it's kind of weird. I mean. I guess I really don't have to travel all the way back up to my camp, do I? Like, I could just travel back here to Charleston Station. I mean, there's... I guess... The good thing about traveling up to my camp is that all of my benches are there. You know, there's an armor bench, there's a weapons bench. Whereas here, uh, I think there's just a weapons bench. So... Uh, I'm gonna travel back up to my camp and take care of some stuff. I'm gonna I'm not gonna take you with me. I think I'm gonna stop taking you guys with me to the camp. Because you've seen me go through my inventory plenty of times. So you don't necessarily need to see me do that anymore. Uh, so I'm gonna go up here and just kind of like take care of inventory. And decide on what uh, loadout I'm gonna take on the next quest. So um, take care of that now. And then we'll resume somewhere else. Okay, look up on the hill there. Do you see those flashes of color? Do you see that? Yeah, look at that. Interesting. Uh, it might just be a storm up there. That's probably what that is. Where are we? I'll show you on the map. Uh, we're right here near uh, Hornwright Air Purifier Site Number One. I fast traveled back here because uh, we just learned of this place. Learned about this place called the Rusty Pick. So let's go over there and check that out. 
Uh, I just spent 15 minutes in my camp. And uh, what was I doing in my camp? Well, I was kind of deciding on what weapons and stuff I wanted to take with me. I got my encumbrance down to 119 by uh, getting rid of a lot of aid I didn't need. Getting rid of some apparel I wasn't using. Uh, I'm, ke I'm keeping the Veil of Secrets on me even though I'm not wearing it because I'm wearing the helmet and uniform right now. But uh, it weighs 0.1 so it doesn't weigh all that much. Uh, weapons, here's what I decided to go with. I'm going to keep my guitar sword on me. Uh, I've got this stupid sniper rifle here. Um... And I've got this uh, shotgun that I put a hardened receiver on, and it now does 81 damage, so I feel pretty good about this. And then I'm also carrying this sh short combat rifle because I have a ton of 45 ammo, and it does 28 damage. So uh, that sounds pretty good. So let's just stick these things into um, slots. Like right here, let's just put this uh, combat rifle. Okay, so... One is my goofy weapon there. Two is my combat rifle. No, two is my shotgun? Or is that the combat rifle? This is my shotgun. Okay, this is the combat rifle. And then I've got this thing. Uh, if you listen, you can hear one of these dudes walking around who's got one of those silo codes on him. So let's see if we can't find him and take him out and take his silo code from him. If I could jump up here. Oh, I'm also not in power armor anymore. Holy crap! Man, that guy came out of nowhere. Damn! That really, really startled me. Level 22 brute. Damn it! These stupid grenades, there's no warning. Man. Show me something, Vats. something flying oh my gosh a scorch beast okay then um hmm i don't know how i feel about this whoa well i'm gonna try to stay away from that thing Problem is that um, sound I'm hearing is definitely coming from this direction. Whoa. Oh, he's right here. I got the piece. Cool. Problem is I think I've been spotted. Yeah, maybe not. Okay, cool. I got the piece. Awesome. Okay. Good grief. Holy cow. Okay, where am I going? Well, oh gosh. That is the rusty pick I'm looking at right there. That's where I want to go. Maybe I don't want to go in there. I mean, these people are doing no damage to this Scorch Beast at all, man. Look at the size of that thing. I wasn't going to let them fight, except that they're hardly going to be damage to it. Whoa. And I don't want to shoot it because I don't want to get its attention. That's for sure. <laughs> for some reason, I just got some experience points for just standing here watching. Are you leaving? No. Are there any other players up here? No, there's not. What is going on up there? Holy cow. That was pretty cool. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. Oh, I've been spotted. Been spotted. I'm not sure what that was. It's pretty scary sounding. This might not be the right weapon for this. Oh, gosh. We hardly nicked it. Run, dude. Run. Get over well... I am really sorry, but my software crashed again at a very inopportune moment. I was just as excited as you guys probably were to uh, see how that was going to play out with the Scorched Beast or the Scorched Beast or whatever he's called. But uh, my software crashed. And every time it crashes, I go online, I do a little bit more research, I try another thing. And uh, every time I do it, it works for a while, and I'm like, oh good, I fixed it, and then it crashes again, which just breaks my heart all over again. So, uh, it's an ongoing struggle, and I do apologize, um, but that's what's happening. Uh, I'm getting pretty close to the point where 
Well, I, I'm thinking of just uh, playing another game for a while uh, and seeing if it happens with another game because uh, I've never had a problem with this recording software until I started playing this game. So it would seem to indicate that the problem would be with this game. But I also know that Windows recently came out with a big update. And so I also suspect there's a possibility that that Windows update has done something to make my system unstable. But uh, if that were the case, you would think that other people uh, would be having the same problem as well. So, and, and I'm not finding anybody else having the same problems. So, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, uh, I, I may very well um, just start playing another game for a while just to see if the problem is specific to Fallout 76 uh, or if it's something else. So, if that happens, obviously, you'll know because I'll be playing a different game. Well, we just picked up a clown hat, and you know the rules. Whatever we pick up, we put it on. Those are the rules. Yeah, you might not have known that, but it's a rule. It's a rule now. Now it is. Clown hat. <laughs> okay. It's kind of hard to see it in here. Let me try, go out here and turn off this light. Oh, okay, there we go. Um, I thought I could, like, zoom in and out. There we go. Checking me out. Oh, yeah, looking good. Whoops. Looking good, me. What do you think? My guy does not look pleased. He's like practically shaking his head. He's like, dude, are you serious? You're going to make me wear this stupid hat. What's up, higher level ghouls? Level 42 ghoul. Server not responding. Oh, you've got to be freaking kidding me. Controls have been temporary. And I'm not. <laughs> Somebody shoot me. <laughs> Disconnected from server. <laughs> I don't, I, I can't imagine how being disconnected from the server could have any effect on my recording software, but that sure is a pretty strange coincidence, wouldn't you agree? <sighs> I, it's, it's the Christmas season, y'all. It's, it's, it's holiday season. Uh, it is, what is today? I don't even know what today is. Today is Saturday, December 8th. Uh, not, you know, um, personal stuff. Uh, you know, I recently just got promoted and, uh, I've taken on a whole lot of new job, uh, responsibilities. And last week was insane. I mean, it was, it was insane. I just had something I needed to do for work and, you know, I'm new to this. So it takes me longer to do it than, than it would take, you know, somebody who's more experienced than me. And I, I get kind of stubborn and, kind of <laughs> not really refuse to ask for help, but I'll spend a lot of time trying to figure something out on my own before I ask for help. And I think there's there's goods and good things and bad things about that. Good that if I do take the time and figure out, well, then I've learned it. And whereas if I ask somebody else, I won't necessarily remember it, but that's quicker. So it's a trade off. But anyway, last week was insane. Uh, I barely had enough time to play this game. Um, haven't had any time to do any Christmas shopping. Uh, it, it's just, it's just, it's been insane you know, crazy. Um, so the last freaking thing I need is for my recording sessions to take longer than they already take. You know, I mean, when I sit down to play, I have about an hour. Uh, and then when all this stupid crap happens with recording software failing, uh, getting disconnected from the server now, an hour long recording session has turned into an hour and a half or two hours. And I just don't have that kind of time, man. I just don't. What is that up there? Uh, Perry, Perry, there, Perry, the red panda. It's kind of hard to read. Okay. Well, Perry, the red panda's up there having a good old time. Oh, look at this thing. Boy, weird. Uh, meeting some strong, um, uh, well, yeah. <sighs> well, I, I thought I pressed the button that would, um, take, uh, health. Uh, but either I missed the button or it didn't work. Uh, cause holy hell, that guy was hitting me hard. Uh, surprising to me how quickly, uh, <laughs> the difficulty level is ramped up here. So this is, this is, yeah. Of course this happens now. <laughs> Good Lord. Well, at least I could respawn at the rusty pick and go pick up my crap real quick. And I probably don't have that much crap on me anyway. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, anyway, so let's, let's play some Fallout 76. Try to, anyway. Uh, where's my bag? Where's my bag of goodies? Where is it? it should be right here. I don't see it though. Oh man. Um, not finding my bag of goodies. At least I guess there's only level 14. But, uh, still doing a good amount of damage to me. Okay, we got him. So, you see, my, uh,. Compass down there, you see the skull and crossbones. <sighs> what the? That's uh, where my um, goodie bag is, but I'm not seeing it on the ground. I'm just seeing it on the map. Oh, what? No damage that time? Oh, whoa, that one killed him. Okay. This place is tough, man. So, yeah, see the skull and crossbones. <sighs> I walk in uh, this direction. And I'm stuck on these stupid tires. And then it's gone now. This guy's level 22. I think this is the one that killed me last time. Level 22, dude. Gosh, man, we are not doing much damage to him at all. And he does not miss. Yeah, no damage that time. We're gonna get him though. Oh, he's on fire. Oh hell, are you kidding me? Run! Whoa! That was horrifying. Good grief. Gosh. Now I got this guy on my case. Good grief. Where the heck is my goodie bag? My death bag. Where the hell is it? Should be right here. I, I don't see it. I'm not seeing my bag. Oh, I'm walking forward automatically. Yeah, I mean, it should be right here. Well... Talk, chalk it up to another glitch, I guess. I mean, I guess, thank goodness, I recently... Comrade Chubbs. I recently was at my uh, camp, and I stored off all my junk, so there probably wasn't anything in my bag anyway, but... Give me a break, game. Jeez. It's like a tour of all the crap in this game. Missed. So this weapon is my most powerful weapon. Although I haven't tried my combat rifle yet, so I don't know, but... DP damage per shot. This is my most powerful weapon at 81 damage per shot. But you gotta get up close. So what is the rusty pick? Is it I guess it's a um like a bar for miners. It's a it's a miner bar. Miners welcome. That was a lame joke. Uh, you mine at vending machine? What's this? Oh, excavator's map, miner's map, prospector's map. Sure, why not? Okay, so we just picked up some cool stuff here. Let's take a look at it if I can, if I don't get killed. Uh, notes, maybe? Uh, a job opportunity? I oh yeah, I remember we read this. Um, man, I wish I could sort by most recently picked up, you know? Because I already don't remember the name. Okay, here we go. Excavator's map. Let's view this. What? Using the map to identify the dig site will remove the map from your inventory. Do you wish to continue? Oh, for crying out loud. All right, well... Uh, I guess I'll look at these maps at some other point, because I'm not ready to look for them now, I guess. I don't know. Prospector's map. Again. 
All right, we'll save it for later. We'll save that for when I'm uh, ready to do a quest like that, I guess. This game is so weird. Uh, more trouble out here. Actually, I'm not even sure why I'm picking a fight with this guy. Just because I want to clear the place out. Oh. Yep, there's trouble coming from somewhere here in a second. Uh, am I doing any damage to this guy? Where is his um, freaking health bar? Where is it? Where's this guy's health bar? There it is. Jeez, hardly done any damage. He's picking up speed. Am I hitting him at all? Will not be tolerated. Let's try this weapon. Oh, I thought this thing was on like an automatic weapon. You know, it's doing alright. I don't know why he's not shooting at me. Then yeah, we got him. Man. Get some lead scrap off this guy. I just want to look around here a little bit. Oh, look. Oh, 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 oh. Well, upright piano. We got a steel guitar here. We've got a freaking tuba. We got some drums. We got a banjo. We got a note. Jesse White, Honky Tonk set list. Uh, the Dancing Bandit at the Rusty Pick. Friday, October 22nd. Outdoor Honky Tonk set list. In Time, Psalms, Hellbent, Sea of Tears, Tornadoes in Texas, uh, The Railroad, Snake Song, Carry My Body Down, Wayfaring Stranger, uh, Lead Me Home, The Devil is My Running Mate, Soul of a Man in 13. That's a great set. Alright, let's uh, play some instruments. Oh man, where's my uh, clown hat? I guess when I got disconnected from the server, I lost my clown hat? Oh, my clown hat, man. Let me see if I even have it in my inventory. <laughs> I don't even have the freaking clown hat. The game giveth and the game taketh away. Mostly taketh away. That's not really what a steel guitar sounds like. Alright. I want to hear the tuba. I'm, I'm most excited about the tuba. We're going to save the tuba for last. Can't wait to hear the tuba, man. You know, people generally pay good money for this kind of entertainment. See how he does, does on the drums. The snare drum. It's just one drum. Yeah. And now, for the coup de gras, the tuba. tuba delivered. <laughs> I enjoyed the tuba. <laughs> well worth the wait. Well worth the risk of getting killed. This is that thing that blew up a moment ago, the strike breaker. It's horrifying. Now, this is backstage here. It's kind of neat. Pretty cool. We'll go in in a minute. Don't you worry. Just still got some more looking around to do before we go in. We kind of ran back here a moment ago. We really didn't... It didn't investigate it much. So is the clown hat still in here? Because I want the clown hat dog on it. That was a cool looking hat. Oh, hey. These guys, I guess, just give you a hug. It's kind of cool. The, the 
damage were doing to him. You know, pieces of him were falling off. It's pretty cool. Look at that. Uh, this, this Mr. Gutsy guy. I'm worried about him. Will be terminated. <laughs> Return to work. What's with the rads? Why am I getting all ratted up? Clown hat. I got my clown hat. I got my clown hat. Put on. I guess from that thing, huh? Look at that piece of machinery. Some ammo here, though. Take that. That was worth all those rads, not. Oh my. Put on the clown hat. Inspect the clown hat. All right. We are ready for business. Got a radio here. Motorcycle. Get up on the roof. I think that's where we're going to find that other uh, Mr. Gutsy. I think that's where we're going to find him. So, get ready for trouble. Sure enough, there he is. Stay right where you are. Stay right where you are. Stay right where you are, you stupid AI. She's gonna blow. Okay, this one's not gonna blow. <laughs> Fine with me. Uh, we got a body up here. Wood pile, cooking station. Some cool stuff. Here's a recipe. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, it says recipes, but. Oh. For glowing fungus puree. I think I already have that recipe. I'm pretty sure I do. Recipe. Oh, here's a plan for light combat torso. And yeah, we already have these recipes. Doug and I should have should have stored these off. That's half an half a pound of weight right there. Some weird sounds coming from off in the distance. Not quite sure what I'm hearing. Well, I think it's time to go in this place. I have to pick this crap up. Let's go in, man. Into the rusty pick. Let's see what's going on in the rusty pick. Probably also filled with a bunch of strike breakers and such. And uh, as you Protecting can plainly hear, it is. Jeez, am I getting any damage to him at all? Okay, got him. Whoa. I'm not happy to see this guy in here. Stay right there, dude. Stay right there. Crap. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. Ready was gonna do that attack move again that we saw. It was so horrifying outside. Why were for, why were rounds removed? What? Area secure. Do not understand. I hear another dude walking around. Ah, there's a yeah. There's a downstairs. Disgusting. And he's dead. What's making this noise around the corner here? Some machinery or something. What's making all that noise? I mean, I guess it's downstairs. Oh, 
nothing in there. Yeah, pardon me. Ladies' room. <coughs> oh, nuclear waste. Sure, let's pick up nuclear waste. That sounds like a good thing to carry around, right? Yeah. Pick some rat away. Boy, there is a delay in my pressing the button to pick something up and it being added to my inventory. Uh, and I don't know if that's like a server lag thing right now. I'm assuming it is. Why is there like a... Oh, okay. Join the auto miners support squad. Let's see if the autoplay works. Nope. What a bizarre bug this is. Looking for a new career? Like working with your hands? Finding solutions to challenging problems? Fixing complex machinery in exciting environments? Then it's time you join the Hornwright Industrial Auto Miner Support Squads. We're looking for talented men and gals interested in earning good pay for hard work keeping Hornwright Industrial's fleet of advanced auto mining robots active and kicking. Pop by the Hornwright recruitment booth in downtown Charleston and sign up today. I just picked up a missile. Did you see that? <laughs> Freaking missile. Oh, here's some ammo. Well, guess it's time we go downstairs and see what's making all this racket, huh? I guess so. So let's do that. Let's go downstairs. What's up, bro? Nice. That was pretty cool. We got rid of him quick. Okay, that's... And also there's some blood... Sp okay, random pain. Did you see that? I turned around. We saw blood splatter on the wall. And then all of a sudden my guy went... Ugh. So, I don't know. This game has issues. Can do a little bit of scrap in here. Scrappy weapon. Uh, scrapping some crap. That I don't want. Well, I guess I'm keeping all the rest of the stuff. What is that? A wrapped cap. Yep, I have to put it on. You know the rules. Wrapped cap. <laughs> Jeez, it looks so stupid. But I'm wearing it now. Oh, welding goggles. I gotta put these on too. Hold on. Hold on. Gotta put on the welding goggles. Oh, okay, it's either or. I can't wear the goggles and the hat. Darn, that's too bad. Um, Piper Revolver. Oh, there was a trap there. Let's unlock this safe. Uh, stem pack. Oh, trapper left leg. I don't know if that's good or not. Let's see how it compares. Trapper left leg compared to the non-existent left leg I'm currently using. It is way better. Uh, here's Mick Flanagan's terminal. And for just a second, here's Clara Weber diary. Old tavern with a secret meeting hall built into the old mine access. This was a local watering hole used by the miners after their shifts, run by an older woman whose husband and sons were killed in a mining accident. Passed down through her family, it sits on a forgotten mine access that was used as a speakeasy during Prohibition, which now serves as a secret meeting hall for the labor unions. Okay, interesting. Oh, Pompadour wig. Well, now I gotta take that. No shortage of uh, goofy uh, things to wear in this um, place. Unfortunately, I can't really see it. Oh, well, you have to take my word for it. Let's see what's going on in Mick Flanagan's tournament. Oh, but we need to unlock it. Streets. 
one likeness. Well, that's not very helpful. I mean, it could be zealots. That has one likeness with streets. And it only has one likeness. No, it has two likenesses with streets. So it won't be zealots. Warrior has one likeness with streets. But it has no likenesses with the word I'm looking for. Greened. Um, Maybe. <laughs> has G R E E. It has one likeness with streets and no likenesses with warrior. Three likenesses. We're up to three likenesses now, everybody. Uh, could be dressed. It's not. We'll come back. Whoa. Whoa. There is something very Blair Witch about that f power armor standing in the corner like that. If you've seen the Blair Witch project, then you know what I'm talking about. But it's just standing in the corner. And I could actually wear that power armor. I don't want to right now, though, because I, I don't want to give up my uh, ability to um, use my uh, lamp. Oh, okay, this is getting interesting here. Whoa. I was, uh, this must be the way to the speakeasy. And we've got one of those uh, mole miner diggers down there. Which I actually feel a little bad about killing because he was just down there mining his own business. But uh, his name was Red. It was in the color red, so he had to die. Rollins work camp key. Holy hell. This guy's got all kinds of stuff on him. Oh my. Oh, how big is this place? Let's see if we can get back into this guy's terminal here. Before we go any further down in there. That lantern, lantern does not have screws in it. So I'm not going to bother to take it. Alright, let's try to get into this thing again. Special. No likenesses. Exactly. Um, it has no likenesses with the special. One likeness. Somehow, nope. Uh, driving. Uh, nope. Implies, nope. Slipped, nope. Without. Oh, this is tough. Uh, without. Doesn't have a likeness with exactly. Failure. This is, this is a hard one, man. Uh, failure, I don't think I see a likeness with exactly. Learned. Um, crap, man. Okay, it does have one likeness with exactly. Two likenesses now. Reasons. It could be the E and the A. In uh, learned. And I'm locked out. Oh, okay. All right. I guess we'll come back to that. Like I said, I really don't want to use the power armor because it's not going to have a lamp on it. And I won't be able to see, and I want to use my lamp in this, these dark environs here. Now let's go down here and see what's going on. Let's take this poor guy out. I'm sorry. I do apologize for the uh, death that I'm about to uh, bring upon you. Whoa, what the hell? I think he just tripped one of his own traps. Whoa. That hurt. This guy's, what, what is this guy's weapon? Level 30 supervisor. I need to get out of direct line of sight with this guy. Holy hell. Uh, hello, power armor. Oh, oh, take your time. Take your time, dude. You take your time. He's punching me. <laughs> oh, he's got missiles on him. And a missile launcher. Wonderful. I'm going to step out of this again. I really don't want to be in it. Alright. See? Now I can turn my light back on. Oh, let's try to get back in this terminal again. The excitement of uh, trying to get into a terminal. It's very exciting. I'm sure it's fun for you guys to watch. Setting. 
Oh, five likenesses. Golly, how many words am I looking for? Seven? Um, setting. Keeping has one, two, three, four likenesses. Serving. It's got to be serving, right? There we go. Ma Mick Flanagan's Terminal Keep Out. Well, as you just heard, I'm thirsty all of a sudden, so let me take a drink before I read something. And I'm going to sort by weight and drink something heavy like these Nuka Colas. All right. Back into the terminal. Entry number one. The first layoffs hit Hornwright this week. Twelve men, all with families. Oh, my power is going to be recalled. Well, who cares? Some of them worked at the company for ten years or more. No warning, no severance. It was all in the contract, you see. Hornwright reserves the right to terminate this agreement in any time without warning. It's kind of ironic how a bunch of stinging lawyers with pens could break the backs of miners with pickaxes. It happened so quickly, it took time to figure out the cause. Turns out they started bringing in robots from that newfangled AMS company that built Watoga. That means something needs to be done before we all lose our jobs. Entry 2 Finally had a chance to speak with O'Connor and Fletcher today. They've agreed to gather 20 miners each and meet back at the woods outside of Charleston. It's time to meet and figure out how we're going to fight Hornwright, AMS, and anyone else that threatens our way of life. I'm sensing that a few of the miners don't want to join the cause, but we'll make them change their mind. It's all of us or none of us. There's nothing in between. <laughs> now I'm carrying around power armor. The plan's set. O'Connor's group is heading to Watoga to protest AMS, Fletcher's group will head to Charleston to flip the finger at Hornwright, and my group is going to slow down the works at the Rockhound on Mount Blair. We'll shout, we'll hold signs, and we'll swing a single pick until they're willing to talk to us. We got Sam Blackwell waiting in the wings to give us a hand if the companies are willing to talk. I only hope we can keep our people in line. I'm hearing some folks talking about going farther than just protesting. Entry 4. Two of the folks from my group got arrested last night for throwing rotten vegetables at Penny Hornwright's limo. Cops said some bullcrap about assault, but how can you hurt someone with a tomato? We tried to put a call into Sam Blackwell since he knows the legal mumbo jumbo, but he suddenly isn't answering any of our calls. When I finally got through to his secretary, she said he hadn't, she hadn't seen him in days. I hope this isn't a trick that AMS or Hornwright cooked up to weaken our side. It's not sounding good. Fletcher's entire group was arrested last night for trespassing on Hornwright property, and he got canned. Somehow the property line for the mine mysteriously moved 100 feet outwards overnight, and the miners didn't know they were standing on private land. That son of a bitch of a CEO, Daniel Hornwright, waited until Blackwell skipped out on us to pull this stunt. So, likes to play dirty? Fine, we'll play dirty. Let's see how he likes it when we take some shovels to his damn auto miners. Word came in from Welch that a bunch of veins of ultracite peeked out their nasty mugs after a ground shaker two days ago. Lost half of my team when they ran home to start grabbing whatever they could. Not even 12 hours after the frenzy, AMS goon squads moved in ready to demolish houses to get at their property. People were none too please. That's when shooting broke out. I've called for another meeting with O'Connor's group. We need to act now before AMS and Hornwright erases us from the map. Entry 7. We've decided to split into two groups again. I'm taking my group to capture the Rockhound on Mount Blair, and O'Connor will take his to Bramwell to blow their mega mansion sky high. Since Hornwright are such good friends with AMS, it's time to show them both we aren't the kind of folk that can be pushed around. After we're heard there, it'll be time to take the fight to Watoga and burn it to the ground. It's possible this will be my last entry, so if anyone reads this and I'm long buried, I hope they carry on the message and keep the fight alive. Hmm, okay. And that gave us a miscellaneous quest to open the miner's locker in uh, Rollins' work camp. Uh, miscellaneous, open the miner's locker, whoops. And it is in this general vicinity. Okay, well we'll make our way down there, on our way down to Welch. Um, was there anything else on this terminal? Nope, just those entries. So, it's, it's time for me to stop my play session here. 
uh, but I'm kind of curious. I, I want to see if like this is where this ends or if it just keeps going. If it ends here, we'll just go ahead and take a quick look. But if it keeps going, um, I'll have to do it in a different episode. Okay, it looks like this is the end. I can't pick those up. Uh, oddly enough, I could pick this one up, but not this one. Well, neither one of them have screws, so I'm not interested. Uh, some stuff in that tank. Is that what it said? Tank? Trunk. Here is a uh, explosives crate we could open up. Oops. And then here, your orders arrived. So I'm going to take it, navigate to it, and play it. Because just picking it up doesn't seem to be working. Hello, Mac. I wanted to let you know I've procured those tools you and your boys were asking after. Along with all the nails and safety equipment you could. But we don't do deliveries. Bring the money to my place in Welch. You know where to find the Duchess. Okay. Uh, well, that's just another one of those things I have to remember. Because it didn't open up a new quest. But um, apparently we're supposed to find the Duchess's place in Welch. And maybe we could pick up that delivery. Uh, so anyway, that's the Rusty Pick, and that's the end of this episode. When we come back next time, we'll exit the Rusty Pick, and uh, we'll start heading uh, south along this road here. And uh, we've actually already been to the Burning Mine. But we'll follow this road south. Uh, we'll probably go here and see if we can't find the Miner's Locker. And uh, I doubt we'll make it there in the next episode, but we're on our way down to Welch to find the next journal. So lots of cool stuff left to see. A ton of cool stuff, right? This is a big game. So I hope you will join me in the next episode. I hope you had fun in this one. If you did, maybe let me know by leaving a like or a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. I sure hope I see you again in the next episode.